So this is an eight switch Phantom X and this is gonna be running all the accessories within the van. So the max air fan, the lights, water pumps, the fridge, all that kind of stuff is gonna be wired directly to this. And I'll show you real quick. If you can see, this is basically what it looks like. There's eight circuits and 16 terminals, so positive and negative for each accessory. And then there's two ethernet ports that come out. And so the other main component is this. And this is an HD touchscreen controller. They do make a couple different ones. You can get touchscreen, you can get ones with physical buttons, or you can get ones with switches like I have in the dash of the van, which you saw in the last video. And the cool thing is you can run multiple controllers. So if you wanted, you could run one controller by the bed and then you could run one up to the dash and you could turn everything on and off from multiple locations. But for our case, we're gonna just run one controller and I think we're gonna put it near the bed. That way I can turn the lights on and off, whatever from bed. And it's super straightforward. As you can see, it's really just wiring up a positive and negative from each accessory and then you just run that ethernet cable to wherever you want the controller and that's pretty much it there's no real guesswork with fusing it and all that kind of stuff because it's rated up to 30 amps at 12 and a half volts dc per circuit so you know most things you're going to be pretty good with it i also wanted to talk about the six switch s pod that's in the engine bay of the van and that's connected directly to the starting battery and that that's only running off-road lights and a couple other little things and it's going to run a compressor in the future and the awesome thing about that was instead of running a bunch of wires through the firewall i only had to run that one and everything is in a nice enclosed dust and water sealed system and the controller is just right there but in inside the van it's a six physical switch uh, system. It's not a HD touchscreen and that's awesome for turning lights on and off because you get a real tactical feel and you know that you know they're clicked on, clicked off, whatnot. So yeah, I just wanted to go over that system because I did get quite a few questions about it and it's something I really believe in. I think it's a super safe way to run all your electrical stuff in your vehicle and it's a really clean, just well put together system. So that's why I'm running two of them and I'm not going to pretend like I'm some wiring guru because i'm not and this makes me feel like i am so i don't know i just kind of want to talk about it real quick um i unfortunately got sick last week and the video i had planned for this week i just i haven't had the energy to do it so this is kind of a good thing to go over because there are so many questions about it and if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment shoot me a message um i'd love to talk about it a little more and Another little update with the electrical system that I went over in the last video is a couple commenters gave me a really good idea and that was to build a battery box underneath the fridge because with the high roof, we're gonna have so much more room up top. It'll actually be kind of nice to have the fridge a little higher because A, I won't have to bend over so far to get anything in there. And also it'll create like a good little work surface or I can make sandwiches or whatever on it. and all the electrical for the inside of the van is just going to be in one spot underneath the fridge.